everyone, my name is Dahlia. I'm a registered dietitian uh, with the University Health System and also a certified diabetes educator, CTE. Um, so today we'll be making uh, pumpkin blueberry overnight oats. Um, and it's very easy. You can do this, you can make a lot at one time, like on a Sunday, um, and meal prep for the week. Um, so first, you get your overnight container. You could buy these at HEB, um, or you can use a mason jar. Um, something that's microwave safe. Um, so in here, I put half a cup of blueberries already. Fresh blueberries, you can use fresh blueberries or frozen blueberries. Um, I find that um, fresh blueberries um, are the best because then they kind of get soft and then some of them stay hard so they, you have a little burst of flavor in your mouth um, after you microwave it. Um, so then we're gonna add half a cup of old-fashioned oats. You can use the old-fashioned or the steel cut. Those have more uh, fiber in them than the old-fashioned oats. And you put that in here in the, your jar. Then you put one cup of unsweet almond milk. Um, you can also use a cup of just regular, regular cow's milk if you're not diabetic. Um, or if you're an athlete and you have this maybe after your workout, this is a good Good for replenishing your glycogen reserves after your workout. Um, all right, so then you're gonna add your tablespoon of chia seeds. And chia seeds are good because they um, provide you with um, soluble fiber, which helps lower your cholesterol. And they add a nice little crunch in there too. Um, and then I added a tablespoon of flaxseed. So this is high fiber, a high fiber breakfast. So if having trouble going to the bathroom, this should this should help you out nicely. Okay, um, so a tablespoon of each, and then you can use regular sugar, maple, maple syrup, honey, um, whatever you want. But for diabetics, I use this two, Truvia um, cane sugar uh, blend. So it's half artificial sweetener, half real sugar. And just, I have a big sweet tooth, so I put a whole tablespoon in here. You don't have to, you can just put a teaspoon. Um, again, for diabetics, I would recommend maybe um, using something like um, Truvia or Splenda. Um, if you're not, you can use regular sugar. Okay, so then I put um, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of clove which I didn't have. So when I went shopping for um, for ingredients yesterday, I forgot the, the pumpkin pie spice. So um, I actually Googled a recipe where you can make your own online. Um, so all that pumpkin spice is is cinnamon, allspice, ginger, and um, nutmeg. Sorry, not in that order. Said the wrong things. And then you just mix it up. And so I'm gonna use um, a half a teaspoon of this. So that's why you don't see the actual little pumpkin spice container. Um, so then, oops, sorry. This is live. So then I forgot to add your um, solid pa packed pumpkin. You don't get the pumpkin pie filling because that has a lot of sugar in it. You want to get the unsweet um, just pumpkin puree. And so I added three tablespoons of this just because it's the fall and it's pumpkin season. So I thought of ways to add pumpkin. It adds lots of vitamin A, calcium, potassium, and a nice warm, it smells good when you make it. It's like comforting, like a pumpkin spice candle. So then all you do is just shake it up and incorporate really, and make sure it's incorporated really well. And then in, you leave it in your refrigerator overnight, thus overnight oats, and it comes out in the morning kind of gooey and thick like this. So then all you do, you can take your container, um, throw it into your bag, um, and then you just pop it into the microwave. I like to do it for three minutes. And then just um, enjoy. You can top it with slivered almonds, um, 
have it with like two boiled eggs if you're, if you're not full with your whole container. Okay. You just tell us some facts about blueberries? Sure. So um, blueberries um, are full of anthoxanthin. That's what makes them blue. That's an antioxidant. Um, so um, our cells naturally oxidize, which means they, when a car oxidizes, it rusts, right? Turns red. So that's what your cells do naturally. So antioxidants kind of prevent, help your cells from aging, I guess you could say. Um, and the different colors, different bright colors means different vitamins and minerals and different antioxidants. So you always want to be eating the rainbow. Um, so you could use blueberries and then you could put raspberries and um, you, know, um, you can make a, a pumpkin pie one with chopped up um, apple and cinnamon. You could also do um, a coconut one with um, shredded coconut in there. Um, almonds, almonds have your omega-3, so good heart healthy fats for your heart. Um, and it has, um, what else? Any questions? Yeah, we do have one question um, from Estella. She was asking if oats are bad for people with diabetes. Uh, no, so oats aren't bad. Carbohydrates aren't bad. So carbs turn into glucose, which is sugar, uh, which is sugar. Our bodies run on sugar. So with oatmeal, you can use like half a cup of um, half a cup half a cup of dry oats. Only has 25 grams of carbohydrate. And then I use an almond milk, which has no carbohydrate. Um, and then the blue blueberries have like very little carbohydrate. I would say they have maybe 10, uh, 10 grams for that cup. So the total amount of carbohydrates in this recipe is 44 grams. And we recommend about 45 to 60 grams of carbohydrate per meal. So it's not that you can't eat carbohydrates, it's the type that you're eating and the amount that you're kind of dumping onto your blood at one time. And when things have a lot of fiber, so fiber is the skin and the peel of plants that doesn't digest as fast. So it doesn't shoot up your blood sugar um, the way that, say, um, white bread would. So white bread or wheat bread, one has more fiber, skin and peel, it digests slower, um, so it doesn't shoot up your blood sugar as fast. So yes, you can eat oatmeal. So this only has 44 grams um, of um, carbohydrate versus if you were to go to a popular coffee chain and buy your uh, oatmeal there, it may have 80 grams of carbohydrate or a popular fast food restaurant um, that has their oatmeal. Um, it may have, I believe it's 120 grams of carbohydrate. Um, don't quote me on that, I would have to look it up. I don't know everything on the top of my head. Um, but this, if you were to make it, it's so easy, it's cheaper, um, full of fiber, full of flavor, and a lot healthier for you. Um, so, at the end, it looks like it exploded, but <laughs> it didn't. The blueberries just cooked, so then you just kind of mix it up, and it's nice and um, cooked because the, the oats soaked overnight. Um, and then you're ready to eat it. Perfect. We have one more question from Connie. It says oatmeal lo lower cholesterol. Yes. So if you notice like this like gooey stuff when oatmeal gets gooey, um, that's called your soluble fiber. That's what kind of soaks up grease and then you it helps your body eliminate it uh, or you eliminate it with like the skin of the peel which is fiber. So it does lower your cholesterol. So do other vegetables that are gooey, such as okra and um, nopales, which are cactus paddles. Um, so tons of vegetables, tons of fiber will help lower your cholesterol. Any other questions? Nope, that's it.